Hello, Recorder Gamers, and welcome to part two of the Recorder Arcade Backstage, where we're going to look at how I arrange music for the Recorder Arcade videos. Now, before we get into that, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll never miss any content from the Recorder Arcade with video game music, recorder education, and just overall recorder fun. So let's go ahead and dive right in to the next video. So I'm still working on the piece Atlantis from the video game Banjo-Tooie, composed by Grant Kirkhope. Now for this video, I said I was going to be getting into arranging music, but my first video was all about transcribing. So what's the difference? Transcribing music is basically listening to the original song, how the composer wrote it, and figuring out all of the notes that were used to make that song. And arranging the music is listening to that piece again and figuring out what instruments I want to play those notes. But we get to go through and take a look at all of the notes that we took last time. Here's a quick refresher if you can read that. I'm not sure if you can or not, but there's a lot of stuff. I've got about five pages worth of notes to get down for this piece and we get to figure out what all instruments and recorders we want to use. So the first thing I do, I go into my music notation program. So I use Finale uh, 25 and I've created templates for the Recorder Arcade to make life a little bit easier for myself. I have a preset number of recorders set up on this file and I can pick whichever ones I want to use as I'm going through here. So if I feel I need an alto, I can start writing on the alto. If I feel I need a bass, I can start writing for a bass. And then I don't have to do all of the setup and all of the back and forth. I can just start with a template and then get rid of everything that I don't need. So to get started, I've got all my notes down here, but I'm gonna do another listen to this piece just so I can get a better idea of which instruments I want to play the notes that I have written down from the last time we were here. So let's give this another play. So again, this is another long, uh, in-depth process that really isn't that interesting to watch, so I'm sure I've created some sort of amazing montage to go along with what I'm doing right now, picking out what instruments I think are going to fit these notes the best. So wish me luck and I'll see you in a little bit. So we open the piece with two altos and two tenors playing that nice echoey background. Um, I've taken the notes and I've alternated them between the multiple instruments to give that feel of the echoiness that you can hear. And the melody is being played by the slide whistle that we talked about in the first video to give it that nice underwater metallic shimmery sound. But now we need a little bit more to add to the mix. So I've added a sopranino, a soprano, and two basses to take over the melody. That the high recorders are taking over the high notes. The low recorders now have the melody uh, helped out by the slide whistle uh, coming in halfway through there. But we need even more help now. So we're tossing in a xylophone to kind of stick with the original intention of the piece. And we're adding two great basses down at the bottom to give the sound of the marimba going through, sailing through the water with that marimba, marimba e sound. So you'll notice that I'm playing the original of this piece and not the synthesized version because I don't want to give away all my secrets yet. You're just going to have to wait to hear the actual recorder arcade version until this section is all set and done. But we're not finished yet. The mood is changing a little bit. The background's getting a little bit thinner. We've moved it down to the tenors and the basses, and now we've added a bass clarinet to round out the entire ensemble with a nice low voice supported by the great basses, and the melody comes back in on the altos. So we're having a little bit of fun here. We get to mix everything up, change where the melody's going, change where the harmonies are going. The chords aren't just in the middle now. They're down at the bottom, they're up at the top. The melody is running back and forth in between the whole thing, and the accompaniment is going uh, along with it. But now the melody jumps down to the basses, the great basses, and the bass clarinet, and it's being accompanied by the high recorders up at top with the staccato passages and little shimmery thing that you just heard right there. 
We're going to add the xylophone in to help out the tenors a little bit at the end and repeat the same thing with the low melody and the high accompaniment. And we're just going to go ahead and bring this up to a close because we are almost at the end of this loop. Because at the end of this melody line, you're going to hit that low note and then it's going to go back to the beginning and we're going to repeat it all over again. And that's all there is to it. So in a very big nutshell, that is how we take the transcribed notes that I did from episode one and turn them into the arrangement that I just showed you here in episode two. So coming up next time, we're gonna start getting into video production and we're gonna talk about all the cool stuff like the cameras, uh, the lighting, and the really fun stuff, which is the green screening, which is how I put myself in front of the video game graphics. So stay tuned for the Recorder Arcade Backstage Volume 3 video production, and we'll see you next time here on the Recorder Arcade. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and comment and notification bell all right down there below. Ha 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 ha! See you next time!